A lot of people call me Meganza because my name is M-E-G-A-N-G-A-N-Z. Actually, my full name is Megan Ann Gans, and I'm the daughter of Dan and Ann Gans. I have not written any community fan fiction, although I started reading um, community fanfics a little bit more, but for some reason I'm only reading um, the Troy Abed slash fiction where they make them have sex with each other. There are so many people that want those two characters to have sex with one another. He has jokes that are open-ended so that if it goes his way, it's, it went his way, and if it doesn't, it was a joke. He came up and put one arm on each of my shoulders, which was already like kind of intense, and he was like, hey, I know you're a lesbian, but, I think it was my shirt because I was wearing the shirt at the time, but he's like, okay, I know you're a lesbian, but that doesn't mean that, it's, that you're not my height. We wouldn't even have to lay down. <laughs> he's got all of these things that he's been saying like that since like the 70s. He'll say, uh, hey, do you want to come to my trailer and take your pants off? And then I'll be like, nope. And he'll be like, fine, I'll do it. Which is a joke, clearly, but like what happens if you say yes? Then you don't get the punchline. Or maybe you do. When I started working for Community, I was on the Paramount lot, and we had really late nights on that job, and I was feeling really homesick. So I would walk along through these New York streets, and each one is a different, like one looks like Brooklyn, one looks like the financial district, and so I would walk along, and then I would sit on the stoops of brownstones, and just be like, you're, you're back in New York, you're back in New York. Any moment, like a crackhead's gonna walk past and you're just gonna be transported back home. Other than the money, yes, I regret it all the time. <laughs> I don't like that one. People said that when I went back to New York that I look so Hollywood now, and like half of my clothing is still the same that I had in New York. So I don't know, I don't know what they're reacting to. No, I don't like, I'm not going to like any of these. Oh, wait, wait, now it's becoming a little funny, okay? Now it's ironic, like Hollywood Gans, big time, uh, big shot, right? Wait, big time, big shot? No, I don't like that. <laughs> oh, man. Yes, uh, I said, my therapist quoted a really good lyric from The Shins today. And then I forgot what I was gonna say because all I could think of was that just, that just naturally just flowed out of your mouth hole. I wasn't like on my way to a vegan brunch. I would have just jumped off of the cliff if I was. It was a good lyric though. You can't wrestle a dove. That applies to like almost everything. I don't know, it's like probably flattering to be selected from all time. So I'd hope they'd just be like flattered into wanting to share a meal with me. I'd pick up the check maybe. That would bring somebody out, depending on who I asked. Gandhi, maybe? Probably pre-hunger strike Gandhi. Okay, so they have a cute new dump truck driver. And so then Mitch always wants to take the garbage cans out every day because he just wants like to see this guy go past. But then all this guy talks about is the mathematical concept of chaos theory. But it turns out that when Cameron was growing up on the farm, he found an old shed that had a bunch of books about nothing but the chaos theory. So he knew all about it, which is weird because it's like totally random that that would happen, which is also like part of the theory, but anyway. So then between the two of them, they did like a Cyrano thing where it's like Mitch was talking to the guy, but then like Cam would like help him through, like give him examples that he could use. But then they were like, why are we doing this? We're together, we have a kid.